Hello, hello again, my T and Tiro family. And thank you guys for tuning in to another episode. This is going to be a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you guys. Take what does, leave what doesn't, okay, guys? Energy is fluid. So feel free to flip it, switch it, put yourself where you fit up in it. Any pronoun that I use, he, she, her, him, is speaking of masculine and feminine energy unless otherwise stated. Okay, they act like they don't want me to get this message out. <coughs> Okay, so um, this is going to be a divine masculine, divine film, and a karmic check-in, guys. We're going to see what's going on for my divine masculines, my divine films, and the karmics. What is going on right now? Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please hit the subscription button. Don't forget to click the little bell so you know when my next videos come out and when I go live. There's too many and also, if you're returning, welcome back, my babies. Don't forget to hit the little thumbs up. If you're interested in booking um, a personal, you can go down in the description box. And my information is there. You can go directly to my appointment and, and book me there through the link. Okay, guys, it's listed all my services and the, the prices there, descriptions as well. So we're going to see what's going on, the overall energy for the Divine Master, Divine Fem, and the Karmic. Tell me when to stop, Spirit. And stop, okay. So the first card out, guys, is abuse. So somebody is feeling hurt right now. Somebody is feeling either mentally abused, physically abused. Um, they could feel like they're under a spiritual attack here. But, um, yeah. Or all three of them could feel like that right now. But somebody within this situation, Divine Master, Divine Femme, or the Karmic is, is really hurt right now. Really hurt. Okay, give me another one. Stop. Okay. Okay, so faithful. Somebody's feelings was hurt because somebody wasn't faithful here. Another one, Spirit. Divine Master, Divine Fem, and the Planet. Okay. So somebody um, either broke up a family. This could be an older situation. You could be older. Your person could be older. This could have been like a long-term situation here. This could actually be dealing with people that are older here. Okay, so they told me four. So we're going to go do four today because they just told me four. So this will be Divine Masculine's deck. This is Divine Femme's deck. And this will be the Karmic's deck, guys, okay? And if you're interested in purchasing this deck, there's, there's a link that you can go directly down below to purchase the T Tarot Oracle deck. So let's jump into this and see how's Divine Masculine feeling right now about either his feelings being hurt, somebody wasn't faithful, his family, and what this older means here, okay? So can you clarify for the Divine Masculine about this abuse? Why is Divine Masculine feeling abused right now? Thank you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I do need it to jump, Father. Why is Divine Masculine feeling abused? Okay, so <laughs> Divine Masculine is going through this awakening, okay? And it's possibly from whatever this was that hurt him. So he got some type of information that hurt him that's giving him some type of enlightenment here, okay? And that's why he is feeling abused or hurt at this time whatever information he received yeah he got some understanding about some things okay yeah so let's see where divine fem is right now why she's feeling abused why is divine fem feeling abused right now spirit why is divine fem feeling abused 
I do feel like Divine Masculine is, is going through a spiritual awakening at this time. They're getting some type of enlightenment, some type of understanding to what this situation is. They could even be understanding how they could have hurt Divine Femme. Or they have been completely hurt here as well. Name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, tell me why Divine Femme is feeling abused, Your Spirit. Thank you. Crystal clear, okay. I trust my intuition. So, Divine Femme possibly didn't trust her intuition here, and this is why she's feeling hurt. This is why she's feeling abused right now. She didn't listen to her intuition. When she had crystal clear guidance, she didn't listen. So this is why Divine Femme is in her feelings. And Divine Masculine is awakening to how he's made Divine Femme feel here, okay? Yeah, there was some type of promise that didn't come through. It says, I will not settle for crumbs. I deserve a great love in this lifetime. So yeah, um, Divine Femme is feeling like whatever Divine Masculine was offering was crumbs and and she could have been intuitively guided towards this and she didn't listen so now she's hurt okay so where's the karmic at here why is the karmic feeling abused why is the karmic feeling abused here spirit why is the karmic feeling abused where's the karmic at And then the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can you clarify why the karmic is feeling abused? Okay, so the karmic is feeling abused because she feels like the Divine Master was her soulmate. That they, they have a divine connection here. So if she's feeling hurt because she she there is a karmic there is a connection but it's a karmic connection here but she feels like this is her, her soulmate and she's hurt because divine masculine is, is not dealing with the karmic here they've walked away and divine feminine is is hurt because she didn't listen to her intuition about this situation here. When she was, when her her intuition was telling her to run from this or to move away from this, she she didn't. And divine masculine is becoming awakened to his actions, to the things that he did, to the things that he didn't do here. Okay, so tell me about this faithful for divine masculine here. He was awakened to what was this faithfulness here, right? He's abused, he's feeling hurt. Who was unfaithful? What happened with this faithful here? Divine masculine here. Inquire for faithful. Clarify this faithful. Where's divine masculine's energy at here? Okay, so yeah, so. Possibly in the past, Divine Masculine didn't want to be faithful. Maybe Divine Masculine didn't want to commit here. Um, but Divine Masculine uh, is going through some type of change here. Possibly because they hurt Divine Feminine. Or because they became hurt by this karmic. Or some type. They, become, they became awakened to something. Something awakened them. Okay, They got some type of understanding here. And now they want to transform the situation here. Now they want to come in and be faithful here. Now they want to come in and offer something long term and commit it. And it's coming in in divine timing here now, okay? Divine timing is at work and at play. So now divine masculine has been awoken to whatever abuse he he, he caused and to whatever abuse he may have re received. And now he's trying to transform the situation here. Now he wants to be faithful. Now he wants to come in and bring something long-term step when committed here. He's going through a transformation himself. Tell me about Divine Femme here and what this faithful means for her. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What does faithful mean for the Divine Femme? Thank you. Give me two. Or three? Oh, we got three. So, um, <laughs> the first one for the faithful is support. Divine Femme says she needs somebody who's going to support her. 
She says, I have faith that the universe is guiding me towards what is best for me. So Divine Femme is remaining faithful. She's, she's keeping her trust and her faith in God. And she knows that whatever is meant for her is coming in for her. She's not stressing right now. She's not worried about anything going on. She has memories here. It says, I do not focus on what is already gone. I choose to show up fully for myself and others in the present moment. So whatever happened between Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, that she didn't use her intuition, she's focused now. She's not focused on whatever's going on with him. She doesn't care about the freaking karmic. She is moving on and she is trusting that what is meant for her is meant for her and it's going to come in and towards her. And then the last one says time. It says, I do not wait on others to fulfill my happiness. Divine Femme says, look, I don't, I don't have to wait on you to get your shit together. I'm happy by myself. I make myself happy. I'm not going to sit around and wait on anybody to come and fulfill me because I will be waiting forever. She says, no, <laughs> I can do that myself. You know, if you get your shit together and you want to come back, okay. But if not, you know, you need to keep going through this transformation you got going on right now. You got some changes you need to make. Some things you need to do. Okay? Divine Masculine? I'm, I'm going to keep on pushing, though. I'm going to do what's best for me. And I'm going I'm to listen to my intuition next time. So, what is the karmic feeling about this faithful here? Okay, so we already know that she feels like the Divine Masculine is her soulmate. And that is a karmic soulmate, a karmic soulmate connection there. So she is drawn into the, into him. I feel like it's a codependent relationship between the karmic and the Divine Masculine. One last time for the karmic and this faithful. Yep, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I get one card for the karmic and faithful? What does faithful mean for the karmic? Yeah, so the karmic is trying to find the right words to express, to tell the divine masculine how she really feels, that she really truly um, has a lot of feelings for him, and she really does want something long-term stable and committed with him. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this family. Okay, Divine Master, what's going on with you and the family? Clarify the family for the Divine Master for me. One card. Family. So Divine Master is in the in, in the process now of recon, recognition. Rec, recognition? He's recognizing the fact that Divine Femme is his soulmate, is where he was so supposed to build a family with, okay? And now he wants to come in and fix things with Divine Femme. Okay, so where's Divine Femme at? Divine Femme, where's Divine Femme in the family? Thank you. Sis Huntress, I know what I want and I am no longer afraid to get it. Divine Femme is in this energy. She's been in this energy for a while. Like, can't nothing stop her right now. Either you with it or you're not. She's going to keep moving regardless here okay she knows what she wants she wants something long-term stable and committed and if you're not coming to give her that she's not playing with you she don't care who you are divine masculine okay either come correct or don't come at all and now divine masculine is recognizing that divine fem is where he wants okay and that he's going to do whatever it takes to come forward to make it happen yeah he's going he's going to fight through whatever challenges there may be where is this karmic at? Okay. And the family. Karmic and the family. What does family mean for the karmic? Okay, so the, the karmic don't want no kids. Okay? Um, or the karmic could have a baby and it's not the masculine. And she's telling the divine masculine that it's his kid. One of two things, okay? But divine masculine want, may want a family, may want something long-term, want kids. And this divine film, I mean, not the divine film, excuse me. The karmic don't want no kids or one of these kids is not the um, divine masculines. Okay, so what's this older here, spirit, for my divine masculine? What's the older for my divine masculine? The older for my divine masculine. 
Okay, so expect Divine Masculine sometime in the summer, okay? Expect expect Divine Masculine to reach out, to come forward. Yeah. To come out of victim mode. Tell me more. Tell me about this Divine Feminine the Older. What is Divine Feminine the Older? Enlightenment. It says, I understand why I chose to learn in this way. So, Divine Fem is using her wisdom. The lessons that she's learned throughout this journey with Divine Masculine, she understands why she chose to learn this way, okay? And she understands that this rejection is for her divine protection. So, she's not worried about the separation between her and Divine Masculine. She's not worried about um, whatever is going on. She's allowing Divine Masculine his time to transfer, I mean, not to transfer, to transform here. To, to go through his metamorphosis. She's still working on her. She's doing her. She don't need nobody to make her happy. Okay? <laughs> she know what she want. And she know what she going to get. Because <laughs> she's not accepting anything less. Okay? She's standing in her power. She's found her self-worth here. And, and yeah, Divine Femme is doing the shit right now. Okay? So tell me about the karmic here and the older. What What is... Okay. So the karmic is in love. Okay? The the karmic may be younger than um, Divine Masculine, but love has arrived. This karmic is in love. She doesn't know how to tell, or he doesn't know how to tell this Divine Masculine, whether this is a male or a feminine, that um, the kid is not theirs, or that they don't want kids if they're in love. They feel like this is a soulmate connection. They can't find the right words here. Can you give me a little more clarification on this karmic here? Because I'm trying to understand the karmic situation with the divine masculine. What else is this karmic feeling towards the divine masculine? Okay, yeah. So the divine masculine says, I'm sleeping with your friend or your family. This kid, yeah, like I said. Okay, so this divine, this karmic is in love with the divine masculine here. But she just slept with somebody and this kid ain't, ain't divine masculine babe. Okay? She is a karmic soulmate here. Yeah, Karmic was cheating. He, she was cheating. Cheated on the Divine Masculine. And now she's sad because the Divine Masculine wants new beginnings here. New beginnings with the Divine Fan. Yeah, she could have even told um, Divine Masculine that she was pregnant. But she's not pregnant or it's not his baby. Yeah, she could be younger. Divine masculine could be older than this 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 divine femme. Divine femme could be I mean not, I'm sorry, not the divine femme, the karmic. The karmic could be younger. And she could be saying that she's pregnant trying to hold on to this divine masculine here. But um she was sleeping with his friend or his family member here. That's why she's a karmic soulmate here, okay? But she's been cheating and she's this baby is not divine masculine. Yep. She been hanging out with Divine Masculine's families and friends. Huh. I wonder, Divine Masculine, do you know about that? How do you feel about this? How do you feel about the karmic hanging out with your family and friends and, and having sex with your family and friends, Divine Masculine? How do you feel, Divine Masculine? He's in contemplation right now. Back and forth in his head. This shit's got him fucked up, okay? He's in contemplation. How else do you feel about this karmic divine masculine? Huh. Yeah, he, he's, he's tripping off this child. He feels like she's childish as well. Um, But the, the child issue, this child is, is a problem. The, the fact that this child is not his is an issue. Yeah, he thought they were a family. He thought they were a family. Yep, now he's walking away. <laughs> he's purged. He's releasing this. Because that baby's not his. And he's headed towards his divine film to make this offer here. Yeah, he's coming. Divine film, do you want to say anything before you go to either the divine masculine or the karmic? You just been in your power here, divine film. Like, you ain't really worried about nobody or nothing. You are trusting in faith in God and the universe that they got you. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't you walking in your you making your own happiness. You learn it from these lessons, you know. You realize that you should have listened to your intuition, you didn't, you know, but you're listening to it more now. Anything else you want to say, divine film to either one, the karmic or to the divine masculine. Okay. So she says, look, behavior. She says, I will not engage in behaviors that don't align with my values and belief systems. When I do this, no one benefits. Karmic, divine masculine, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not even going to step out of my character for either one of you. Huh. I am a child of God. I walk by faith, not by sight. Step up or step off. Right. And the other one says unwavering faith. She said, babies, I'm not worried about either one of y'all because God got me. God got me. The universe is taking care of the details. She said, what is meant for me is meant for me. Can't nobody take it from me. Can't nobody stop it. And believe me, <laughs> mine's is coming for me. Whether it's this divine masculine or somebody else, just trust and believe I know God got me. And if don't nobody show up, huh? I got me. I love me. I can treat me. <laughs> I can make myself an offer. Because I don't wait on someone else to make me happy. She says, look, I trust that certain doors are closed for a reason. I do not continue to bang on them. So if this is closed, be closed. You know what I'm saying? She's not tripping. And if, 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 if Divine Masculine is supposed to return to Divine Femme, then she'll be there waiting. But, well, not waiting because she ain't going to wait. But if she's not with somebody, she'll be there with open arms. Divine Masculine don't take too long because she's not going to wait. She doing her own thing. So you need to come on in since you recognize the divine maximum that divine femme is the one and, and get on to this offer here. Because if not, you're going to miss out. These doors going to close on your ass. And she going to move on to somebody else that is going to see her light. That is going to treat her and give her what she deserves. And believe me, it's coming in by summer. Whether it's you divine masculine coming in by summer or whether it's somebody brand new coming in for divine film by summer by summer divine film gonna be doing something brand new new beginnings watching best belief divine film keep standing in your power keep doing what you do keep moving how you move don't let them take you out your character shine bright baby shine bright divine master you keep doing your work i see you i see you i see you you working you getting there get to this offer though don't wait too long and karmic you got to stop playing these games. You can't be running around having sex with, with your person's family members and friends. Because it's never going to work out. It's never going to work out. You're going to always be sitting somewhere crying and sad and wondering why the door was closed on you. And you still in the background trying to bang on them. And, and, and your person, Divine Master, then walked on to someone else who was loving, caring, and kind. Ain't playing these games. Ain't doing this magic. Ain't sending hate and being negative. You got to release that negativity, Karmic, okay? And I know I'm going to get some thumbs down. I, I know. I'm not even tripping. It's okay. As long as you get the message, okay? You have to let go of the negativity. You got to get you a little more class up here. You can't be running around fucking friends and family and shit of the person that you fucking with. Man or woman. You just don't do that. Remember, karma's a motherfucker, and you cannot run away from it. That's why you're considered the karmic. You're going to get your karma. Fix your behaviors. Get back to, to, to living in, in faith and walking by faith and not by sight. Step out of the 3D realm and get back into your spirituality. Connect to God. Connect to the universe. And, and watch how things will start to change in your favor. Okay? And you don't have to be the karmic. You have somebody that's divine coming in for you too. You just have to do the work for yourself as well. Everybody has to do the work. Nobody can skip doing the work and nobody can miss out on karma. So be mindful of what you do. Be mindful how you treat people. Whoever you are, divine master, divine film, or the karmic. Be mindful of what you say. Walk in love and compassion, guys, because karma is real. 
and it's coming back. And just for those, you know, that be going out here doing people wrong, dogging people out, you may have did people wrong, dogging them out several times, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty times, and ain't shit happened to you. But best believe you're going to run into that right motherfucker. Huh. And karma going to come back on your ass for everybody that you did wrong. Understand. Just because it don't come right back don't mean you get to get away from it. Nobody escapes it. So if you give out good, you loving, you compassionate, you giving, you come from the heart, then that's what you're going to get back. That's the type of karma you're going to get. But if you out here lying, spiteful, thieving, being sneaky, deceptive, you know, playing with people's minds, manipulative, playing with people's money, playing games and shit, huh, cheating, you know, watch, watch, you don't get away scot-free, baby, go ahead and hit the thumbs down, it's okay, you know, you can go ahead and, and, and go down to the description box, hit a little appointment, hit me up, we can talk about how we can fix this karma and get you back on the right track, okay, because I'm worried about your soul, about your spirit, I want to know, where, I want to make sure that when you leave here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to the higher place. I want to see you elevate and rise. I want to see you have heaven here on earth. That's for all you guys, though. You know, you just don't have to be the karmic. Because we all have shadow and we all have light. Nobody is exempt. Everybody has been the karmic at one point in time. Everybody has been a divine soulmate or connection at one point in time. Nobody is exempt. Nobody's better than nobody. So the message is for everybody. It's just at different points in time, you're different things for different people. Okay, guys, so I'm going to close this out. I know I went on a long rant at the end. Um, I did not mean to make this video be this long. It's going to take forever to freaking upload. Um, Corday, shut up. I'm recording. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's my grandson. He know I'm in here recording. He hears me. He's doing it on purpose. Um. Yeah. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know if this resonates for you, with you. And, you know, everything's going to work out. It's going to be fine. You guys keep moving, keep shining, keep working on you, okay? So until next time, you guys, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you.